Everybody, nice morning, babe. How are you? You ready? All right, you're driving. The success of America isn't housed in the halls of Congress. It lies in the calloused hands and the unrelenting grit of America's workers. Those who dug the deepest sent our nation soaring. Come on, Brady. I want to show you something. So this is where I grew up with your grandma and your uncle. Just the two of you. Yeah, but the whole neighborhood felt like our family. We all looked out for each other. Why? That's the way it should be. Neighbors take care of neighbors. I saw it right here every day. And my grandfather was the one everyone turned to. <laughs> I want to show you something. So this is where my grandma and grandpa used to live. That's where we used to have family dinners every Sunday. Sunday family dinners need more than just good food. They require jobs and the quality of life that keep generations together, that give our kids a reason to stay and raise their own family here. So this is where you played, Dad? I didn't just play here. The old man threw a lot of touchdowns. So you're going to play here one day? Mm-hmm. Well, you got to remember one thing. You can't just show up and expect to win. You got to be prepared, and you got to work for it. No football coach puts a team out on the field without a game plan. And right now, our workers need a game plan. We're competing with countries around the world for jobs. So in my mind, there's nothing more patriotic than investing in our team, our people, our workers. I'm not talking about handouts. I'm talking about being prepared to win. The outer strength of our country is a reflection of the inner strength of our citizens. Come on, Brady. Is this where Papa Bob used to work? A uh, place just like this, till he lost his job with thousands of others. How did they lose their job? Well, somewhere along the way, something broke. We forgot what made us successful in the first place. It can't be businesses versus workers. This is a partnership. But that partnership needs to be redefined. We have to cut workers in on the deal. I'll work with anyone to rebuild our economy, but I will never sell out our workers. Is someone going to fix it, Dad? Well, we need to hit the reset button. We need to reimagine the entire thing. We need to invest in the businesses so they can create more jobs for even more workers. We need to step up our training in science and technology so the clean energy jobs come to Ohio today. We need to make huge investments into our public infrastructure, our roads, our bridges, our airports, broadband. We can actually revitalize manufacturing, secure U.S. supply chains, and make things here. We can do it, buddy. I promise. Never bet against Ohio. Does this mean you're running for Senate, Daddy? <laughs> I'm Tim Ryan. I'm running for Senate, and I can't wait to get Ohio working again.